guys, this is your girl Nikki J and welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever your girl uploads a video. I upload videos on Wednesdays and Fridays and once a month on Sundays, I upload a Come Cook With Me video. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. If you want to see how I did my eyebrows, I am going to put that sparse eyebrow tutorial up in the cards and you can click on that and then you can see it and I'll also link it in the description box below so you can see how I do my eyebrows because yeah, it kind of takes up a lot of time. Well, it's not really a long um, process to do my eyebrows. But, of course, the video is detailed. I'm like, where is my earring? Right here. I'll put it back on. So, I'm going to look crazy on the camera. Anyway. So, yeah. You can check out that video if you want to see how I do my eyebrows. It's very detailed. But, normally it doesn't take that long. So, next step. We are going to hydrate the face. Um, I am going to just go ahead and hydrate now. And then we'll talk about the... Um, products we're going to use today. I have a palette that I've never used before. It's a part of that Neon Bright collection. Um, Y'all remember when I did that little kind of, uh, when I showed you how to apply eyeshadow to a hooded eye, I used a Neon Bright's collection that is by Profusion, and this is another one of the Neon Bright palettes. And... This one has like blues and yellows and oranges and a lot of greens, a couple of pinks, but it's not like the other palette. So we are going to kind of play with this palette. I've never used it before. I think I may have used the, I probably swatched it maybe once or twice just to kind of see the pigment. Ooh, that blue. Ooh, that blue. And then orange and that yellow. I don't know, honey child. Ooh -wee. So, we're going to see how that works, y'all. We don't know. We kind of chocolate. Let me kind of, I'm going to fix this on my eyebrow. Yep. I used my Pond's um, Perfect Color Complex Beauty Cream. And I am going to... Go ahead and use my LA Colors um, Primer, Smoothing Facial Primer, and I'm gonna use that on my actual eyelid to prime my eyelid for the products. And again, when I like to use those neon products, I'm going to also use my e.l.f. Glitter Primer on my eyelid because it helps those colors to adhere well to my eyelid. And here is my e.l.f. glitter primer. And we're gonna go ahead and tap it on there. Not a lot, just enough. Look it on up. And um, yeah, we're gonna do the eye. And of course, we are going to, I don't know if I'm going to extend this video I am so behind schedule, y'all. I have off schedule. I have to get back on schedule from vacation. Um, so, and I'm back in the office with work. So, God, yeah. Oof. That's different when you're working from home, honey, because you can just kind of flip over right after you're done working and kind of film. But now you got a commute and all that to deal with. So, um, we have all of our usual suspects. Uh, I have a couple different brushes. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, that's silver. Mm. Silver on dark, dark skin people doesn't really translate well, but I may do that. Oh. I may do that silver on my um, tear ducts. So, heesh. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling these... Uh, this orange and this yellow and this blue. Let's just jump right on into it. So 
So let's go ahead and be adventurous. I'm going to try this yellow. And that one must have all my eyelashes in here. But anyway, let's try this yellow. I am using my e.l.f. Defining Eyeshadow Brush. One of my favorite brushes to use. And I am going to tap in here. Let's see what this pigment I tapped into the orange. And that's not what I wanted to use. So I'm going to place this orange right here in the middle. Because that was not what I wanted to use. I'm going to place this orange right here in the middle. And kind of fan it out. Yeah, but it's got it's got a pretty okay pigment. Okay. Nope, I'm gonna take it up. Remember that trick from my last um makeup video on how to apply eyeshadow to a hooded eye. We're gonna take it over the fold so that when we open the eye we don't lose that color. So we're gonna go ahead and go for broke with this, y'all. So this orange is really kind of translating. I'm kind of I'm gonna work with what I got on. You see what I'm saying? I got on pink and orange and blue and some gold. So we're gonna we gonna work with that. We're gonna we're gonna put it together as a look based off of this here outfit we got. So let's go ahead and work with that. And you know, with these type of colors, when they have a little bit of glitter in them, some shimmer in them i kind of i like to tap i'm not a sweeper when it comes to applying eyeshadow eyeshadow <laughs> so let's go ahead and take this on up and uh, y'all let's see what we come up with working in this little palette i think i went too high on this so let me go ahead and take this on up some more then to blend it down a little bit but that's okay we're human we make mistakes but it's never the end of the world let me bring this in just a little bit more there we go okay all right so let's kind of transition with this yellow mellow yellow transition with this mellow yellow and let's put that in our ducks close to our ducks right here ducks yeah that's what we're gonna work with okay I'm okay with it so far, y'all. So far, so good. Let's work with it. Let's see what we can come up with. We being adventurous, honey, with these good colors. The adventure. Okay. I'm all right with it. We jumping on out there, honey. This is almost kind of... This is kind of runway-ish. On the runway, honey, were those bright, bold colors. Oh, we. I don't know. We're gonna really have to work with that blue in this black that's in here, honey. We're gonna have to tone this down just a little bit. I ain't trying to overwork it, you know. So I'm going to take this yellow on up into that orange. Can y'all see that? Take the yellow on up into the orange. Ooh wee. Y'all heard we're going to be looking like a butterfly. Black butterfly. Set the skies on fire. 
tell your sons and your daughters what the struggle brings. Okay. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Did I bring my blood of brush in here? Yes, I did. So, I am going to use my, I'm going to wait, I'm going to hold my smudge brush. I'm going to use my LA Colors uh, eyeshadow shader. And I am going to do this blue, y'all. We're going to be adventurous. We're going to be adventurous. We're going to do that blue. Ooh, child. That pigment. Mmm. I'm a little nervous, but we gonna work with it. We gonna lean with it, rock with it. We gonna lean with it. And we gonna rock with it. It's pretty though. That's a pretty blue. That is a pretty, pretty blue. I'm feeling like I need some purple to go with this blue. But that's pretty. We gonna see y'all. Uh, we coming up with something. We got a little creativity going on here. Look in this mirror I got here. Make sure I'm matching my fly on both sides. It's pretty though. This is a very pretty blue. And blending in with that orange. Y'all know I love to mix blue and orange together anyway as a as a look. Okay, neon colors, I'm feeling y'all. I feel like purple needs to be in this mix. Mm -hmm. I should have had a purple in there. In this palette. Pro Fusion, y'all should have had a purple in there. This pigment is nice, though. Pigment is nice. So I got my LA Color Blender Brush. And I am going to kind of just start blending these colors. Gonna kind of soften this up a little bit when you start blending them. Mm hmm. Soften this up a bit as we blend it out. I'm gonna take a little bit of this, this little fuchsia color here, and use that. See how it assists in the blending of it all. I like that. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to add a little bit of this black. That's right here. Just a little bit. It's going to help to kind of tone this down. toning it down so I am going to get my LA color eye marker eyeliner in the color black and I'm gonna try to wing this out as much as possible y'all know I don't I'm kind of working on this wing situation and I'm doing better I feel like I come like a butterfly
Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of this blue. Kind of intensify it again. Because I blended it out, but I didn't want to blend it out that much. I'll take it all up. I'll come back and blend it. All right. Let's go ahead and line our lower lash line. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. smudge brush and I'm going to dip in that little bit of that blue and that black together and kind of smudge it here. Y'all see that? Now I'm just going to do the blue. I'm going to do the blue and the black together. Smudge it here. I'm ambidextrous, so I can kind of get over here with the left hand and work it out a little bit too. Because I'm looking in this mirror over here. All right. Let's do what we do and go ahead and prime my face. We're doing good today, y'all. Prime my face. I'm gonna use a, this little cosmetic. Um, I'm kind of cleaning up this cosmetic cloth. I'm kind of clean up some of that blue from that fallout. Now we don't know what we're working with, but. Let's put some with some to get some. Yum. So, we'll do our usual. Our CoverGirl Outlast All Day Concealer in Deep Fonts. You know how I do it. Go ahead and speed on through this video.
Okay, so I have my lashes um, just sitting here and getting all tacky. And I'm using my Ioni Faux Mink 3D Lashes. And these are the lashes that are called Benjamins. Benjamins. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. So let's go ahead and blush up our cheeks. Bring them back to life. Add a little warmth back to the face. Little warmth back to the face. Then we're going to use our Hard Candy Bold Mascara in the color black. And I am going to put a little mascara on my lashes. My eyelashes before I put on the falsies. Take my nose. So I am going to show you guys how this Hello Halo Mega Glow Highlighter by Wet n Wild works. And oh my god, this is the bomb. So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to dot it up my nose, chin up area. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it both. Um, so you see I'm not put I don't have to apply a lot. And then I am going to take my fingers and I'm gonna rub this in. And it's just enough yummy glow. Look at that. Just enough. Just enough highlight to glow it up, y'all. Just enough. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like I need to glow just a little bit more on this nose. Mm hmm. Mm, mm. Glow it up, boop, boop. Glow it up. Just gonna run my finger down the bridge of my nose. Just enough glow. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Final piece. Oh, we're going to put on these lashes. Then we're going to set this face, y'all. Make sure I ain't no adhesive on my actual lash applicators. I do it with my fingers, but I always like to kind of use these as a follow-up. Just in case. Okay. These lashes are on. Um, and let's work on this lip real quick. Um, my mold has kind of disappeared. As usual, I'm in here and kind of darken her up a little bit. The amount of technical difficulties that I'm having today, y'all, is beyond me. So I'm using my e.l.f. matte color in, I use this T-Rose. I use a little red today. I can ombre it up. And I am going to use this Milani Red Control Lip Color. And I like it because you just kind of twist it and then it gives you your color. And then when I tell you it's red, it's red. It's one of my favorite reds, y'all. I think I need to kind of lighten it up with the this shadow I got going on.
Okay. It's a look to be desired, but it's a look. It's not one of my favorite looks, but let's see what it all comes together with. Add on my blush here. Hmm. Let's see what we're working with. Let's go ahead and set the face. We're using Asher in the 12 hour matte spray by Hard Can Do. Get our fan. Okay, going. We having a rough day today, y'all. <laughs> hmm. Let's go ahead and fan, fan, fan. Then we'll come back and we'll pull it all together. All right, guys. This is it. This is the finish look. I think I'm kind of liking it. it Hey, what y'all think? I think it came together okay. I, I like it. Would I wear it? I probably would. If y'all see, I had to darken up this lip just a little bit. So I just added a little black um, liner to it and just kind of blended it in a little bit more with a lipstick brush. I mean, always have a lipstick brush. But I think this came together pretty cute. Um, yeah. It came together pretty cute. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, I wanted to add a little fluff to the tear duct. Yes. Let's grab that and add a little fluff to the tear duct with this yellow. Just going to go in. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Just add a little fluff to the tear duct. With that yellow, and I'm gonna add a little bit of that silver too because I feel like it's gonna make it all pop. And it did. Yes, my key. That silver went on and made it pop. Y'all remember that silver? That Lone Ranger right there in the middle? That silver? It did. It made it pop. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So. I really liking this look. I end up liking it. It came on together, you know? You gotta put it all together. Put it all together to see what it's coming up with. So this is a really cute look. I hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys like this look. And I am liking using these makeup palettes. You know, just venturing out here and doing something different and seeing what I come up with and putting my hands to good use so like i said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did please make sure that you thumbs up and hit that notification bell as well as that subscribe button if you already have it and i'm wishing love and light to you and yours and please remember to be kinder than necessary because you never know what someone is going through bye and i'll see you guys in our next video Future is bigger, brighter. Mm -hmm. Now that I removed the cloud.